One, one, two, two, three, three. Nico, don't screw. That's what I thought he was going to say. You don't know that? Do you know that track? Mm. One, one, two, two, Nico, don't screw. Rat a tat tat on the mic. Can I get through? I don't like that, though. You don't like, you don't know that song? Is it like that? What's it like, then? It sounds something like that, but you, yeah. you're one of those people that listen, that to, I'm, the, I'm definitely, listen to the beat and yeah, don't yeah. know the words. I'm definitely one of them people that make up my own lyrics that just <laughs> fit. <laughs> that could be wrong, but I'm sure that is. Real ones. Welcome, welcome back to Chatterbox, episode 22. I'm here with your boy Leo. Are you sure it's 22? I'm not. I sounded no, right, right though. Right, though. Might be 23. 22 or 23 or somewhere yeah, around yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All at. I do know is we're beyond five months of chatting shit, so. I swear we're near the thousand mark, though. Check that. My phone's up there. Check that. I swear we're near the thousand mark. Well, last time I checked, it was about 30 away. Let's have a look. Say, have a butchers. 977. 23 to go. 23 to go. 23 of you can Wait, make this happen. Is that bad? Huh? Yeah. It's like he was counting on your fingers out loud, but yeah, in the sky. Yeah. Oh, hey. yeah, you said it differently then. All right. Um, we had a great show the other day at the event, says events. And let's big up them two that come, them three that come down from Manchester. So who do we have? Was it SJ or SK? SJ. No, no, no. You had Shash. Yeah. Shash. And then we had. Go on. No, I Something do know. 106. It? Yeah, yeah. Su- Sufan. Sufan 106. Man, like Sufan. Come and all the way down missus. from Manchester with his missus. Mm. I don't know if his missus was already here, but he, he travelled down from Manchester. But massive appreciation for you guys, man. It was nice chatting to you lot and seeing. Do you know what it is? It's not the first time you're meeting people that watch our stuff, yeah? Yeah. But that. It felt. Sufan. And sh- well, I think I can't know if both of them or one of them has been following everything I've done from way back, yeah. like cha- um, ball of comedy back back yeah. then, which is far. Um, it's always crazy. Like it, it's nice. I've never done a like. This is what I'm saying. I've never done a meet and greet. That's probably the first time I've ever been involved in like going somewhere where people are coming, knowing that you're there just to chat to you. Yeah. Because Shash came. He said he don't even like poetry. He just cu- he said his brethren's waiting outside because <laughs> he didn't have a ticket. <laughs> I've just come here to meet you guys. Oh, you and you didn't get him in? I got him in. I got his brethren in. Oh, I yeah. I said, I, t- I said, tell your brethren to come back. I'll get him in. I oh. got him in. But um, I don't think his brethren like poetry. <laughs> 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 and his brethren don't know who he are. So he was just like, what am I doing it? <laughs> but it was but nice. Ooh, it was, no, it was good. It's it was nice good. to chat to people, especially people that have gone out of their way to come and see you. So for those of you, ca- I've told them to you as well. Anytime they want to come to another event, it's free of charge. That's what I felt. Do you know why I did that? Well, you see, when you make somebody come out of the way to come and see you, yeah? Yeah. after I say, well, go on, how you not doing? Now I feel like I, I need to start juggling or something. I need to do something for you. <laughs> like, I need to, I can't just say hello. I need to do, you've gone out of your way. So I was like, yeah, you guys can come. But yeah, so fun. And your missus and Shash, anytime you want to come through to any of the events in the future, just hit us up, man. You can. Definitely get in. Big up yourself. Appreciate man. you, man. Trust me. Trust me. So let's get into the messages. Mm. Big man. The water debate's gone clear. 150k in one day. It's what, going drinking tap water. What's clear. The, what's the um the general consensus? Yeah. The general consensus of if you can drink your bath water or not. You definitely yeah. can't. If you're in an old house here, yeah, yeah. there is a tank up in the loft yeah. and the water can come from there. If you're in a new house yeah. or a flat, yeah. it all comes from one main. Okay. So it depends if you're old school or new school. What, so the new people, the bath water and the tap water in the kitchen are the same? Same thing. That's it runs off the same main. So if you are in a new flat and you're drinking out your kitchen tap, you might as well go swig out of the bathtub. Some people said that after heavy night of raving, they're not making it to the kitchen. They're going straight to the bathroom. That's disgusting. That's actually it's the disgusting. same it's water. Not, it is not the same. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't drink out your bath tap in I no drink, circumstance. I don't, I don't drink tap water. No circumstance I don't drink at tap all. water anyway. So, Daniel198, when you see how much UK government spends on military each year selling arms to fund genocides, yet not enough prisons to the point they're full and giving fu- 40% discount sentences shows everything about this country. People in power only care for their own pocket. 
You know what? I kind of. Are those gunshots? Or uh, got not distracting you. It's fireworks. I know it's fireworks, but it's like, how long is that going on for? Brother, don't be a bugaboo, please. That's not bothering you? No. All right, go on. But they're celebrating something. Leave them to celebrate, <laughs> man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I kind of, uh, because I've got something written down on my paper, yeah? Mm. About about politicians. About, so while, it's, while we're here, we might as well just get, I might as well get that one out quickly. And the thing about it is for me, yeah, so I went over to Essex the other day. I needed to get something done to my car, yeah? Mm. And I had to pay the dark charge. And I was thinking to myself, why is it me, you, you, we just suffer all of these things that they hit us up with? You know they're going to start charging for the Blackwall Tunnel now as well? That was uh, a free yeah, tunnel. Yeah. I know, but go for it. No, but it's a fr- it was a free tunnel, yeah. but now they're going to start charging for it. So... How much fingers are these government gonna charge but us? But you know for? why? This is why I'm so I'm even this I'm this far Awful. from leaving this country. This is how far I am. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And I watched some guy's YouTube video who moves from here to Thailand, yeah. Yeah. And the whole beginning of his video, yeah, is how much his life is different now. He's like living in the UK. It's like you got leave your house, you got camera on you here, camera on you there. Pay for this, fine for that, charge for that, charge for this. It's just, I was just listening to it. He's like going on for about crazy. 10 minutes about everything that we go through day and to it's day. it's true. And it's like, why it's do so we go through this? People, it's so true. And you know what? I'm not one of these people. I don't want to... It's not a conspiracy thing. This is actually... For the real ones, this is actually a real thing. That ma- we, we, me, you and you, we be sleeping on this and letting them get away with it. These LDNs, you can't drive down this road, that road. You can't drive down a school road on a certain time. I understand the ethics behind the school road. Mm. But not every road... They're looking off the whole road to a school that this government just sit in a house of parliament and just rape the country of money. And I can't even drink my tap water. <laughs> it's not free. <laughs> There's a charge for it. <laughs> That's my rant out of the way. But, but one person did say to me, because they did see uh, when we were talking about the youths last week here, and they said to me that, how are these youths ever going to have a chance when... These people in suits are as bad as them. They just mm. do it with smiles yeah. and posh words and <coughs> and clear their throat. Do you know what I mean? And it's and it's so true. Like the world is going to put because no one doesn't care. The world ain't going to put where we are is going to put. What you say? Just the UK. Thailand's not going to put. Yeah, Thailand is not going I'm to put. I'm gone, you know, you lot, trust me. I think you've got me here for about I think by January twenty twenty five, I won't be here. I've said it into, I've put it into the ethos now. 106 Sofan. My guy. Mm. I like Sofan. My guy, that's what, you know, that's what you said. Is that My what you said? Guys. My guys, I was on the train home and noticed the episode was uploaded. Yeah, sorry for the late upload. Yeah, who posts a video at 12 p.m.? Yeah, but it done good. I don't know how. It done good. It done know. numbers. By the morning, it was already 500. That's crazy. Maybe we should we start reposting at 12 o'clock? It was a pleasure to meet you both on Tuesday. Mm. The spoken word event was a first for me mm-hmm. and won't be my last. Sick. Big up yourselves, man. I appreciate you both chatting with me after the show literally made my year. Until the next time. And you know what, yo? I was chatting to him afterwards. And is it Snash or Nash? Shash. Shash. And Shash as well. And Shash comes from a, a, a single parent family. Just mm. like myself. You understand me? And, and I was talking to them both. And we were just talking about life. Like, mm. like we were rapping for long to the point where my man just had to go because he was going to Manchester and he was going to... But we could have rap, we could have kept rapping. You mm. know what I'm saying? And it was good. It was good. It was good just to be able to just freely talk. I don't feel awkward and just free flow. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, uh, Leo are, 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 are um, in talks of doing a live show as well. Yeah, what do you lot think about that? Mm. Us doing a, a this. live... This... But on stage, mm. where you can sit down, Crowd. eat a food, and interact with us, mm. and we'll have those those debatable topics. And and if somebody can come up, if somebody's got a strong opinion, they can come up on stage and yeah, yeah, come, come and we have a third seat. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like the guest chair, the guest chair, the guest chair. Mm-hmm. And we might even we might even bring a, a little one, cameo. one of your peoples here, yeah, one of your cameo peoples, yeah, one of your faces. Kitchen and bathroom taps have the same pipe. The water travels longer through the pipe to get to the bathroom, but that's the only difference. Do you know what as well? See in our flat, if Kyra's in the shower, 
and I run the sink. It runs slow. No, it locks off the cold. Like she'll stop screaming in the bath, in the shower. So it's true, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't drink your tap water, man. Period. Nine two. What was that? Nine two Sims. Well, go on, man. Them. Last time you guys read my comment, I was jumping with excitement watching it. Anyways, about the Trump thing, you guys should watch the head of Secret Service getting grilled by the House Committee. Mm. Well, they get grilled. Head of head of Secret Service. Mm. Uh, the youth thing is mad, but I don't believe it was to do with only mental health issues. No, and I agree with you. It was just, I just feel like no one doesn't talk about the mental health side of it. Mm. They just think that they've, they've gone wild or they've got a bad upbringing or it was abuse. Or, mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, Vibes Cartel just walked out of jail. The man is free. That's one of my Benji topics. Benji, 775. So that's one of your topics. That's one of my topics. So let's yeah. just chat about that. Go on, then. Until this, until I, I don't... You didn't know who he was? Oh, shut up, Leo. All right. Come on. But but I didn't know much about his case. I didn't care for it. Like, I know he's been in jail for time, and there's like, people want him out, people want him there. And I genuinely didn't know what he was even in for. Never even bothered to look into why he was in. But I was getting my hair cut. Obviously, he ain't said nothing about the trim. Curls are back. I was getting my hair cut the other day, and the barber, you know, uh, sidetrack here, sidestep to what I'm saying. You know when I'm getting my hair cut by the barbers, yeah? Mm-hmm. I think because I had dreads for a period, they think I've got strong understanding of patois. So they don't dull it down for me at all. Because I know there's a level... So, so there's gaps. There's mad... There's always gaps. There's always <laughs> gaps. I'll be chatting like, hey, 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 And I'll be like, huh? I'll be like, and he'll say it to me again. I'll be like, and I kind of just go, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, really? And I'm like, huh? What did you say? Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I like just trying to guesswork, but I'm talking to you, Weber. Car, you chat to me with the most English voice until we're in that chair, and now your patois on 100. Let me hear your patois. I don't have a good patois. I sound like the um, the crab from Little Mermaid. Let me hear your patois. I don't have patois. Yeah, you better not, cause you're not from Jamaica, mate. So Sierra Leone. Let, let me hear your patois. Sierra Leone. Let me hear your Sierra Leone. You're holding it. Let me hear your Sierra. Let me hear it. <laughs> why are you trying to why are you trying to backtrack now? <laughs> but anyway vibes cartel so the barbers was talking to me about but vibes cartel but they was like what do you think bailey does he, is it should is he is he guilty i'm like i don't even know why he was in for i thought it was some mad cases for murder yeah yeah so he's out yep green one and this is a big deal but he's got mad he's got mad illnesses though how long's he been away for 13 years or 12. He's been away for 13 years. Yeah, 12 or 13 years, I'm sure. No way. Yeah. All them tunes you're listening to. Old. Uh, no. The new tunes. What are you talking oh. about? Oh. So what? He's been he's been dropping tunes what from Inside Joe. Man. I didn't know he was away for that long. Mm. I thought he's been away. S- I thought this is like since lockdown or something. He must have a book ready. He must have a book load ready. So is he out now because he's innocent? Because he had life. Well, yeah, they got. he, he won his appeal. So where's he going to get bread now? I don't know if King Charles had something to do with it. Because I see, keep, keep, keep seeing King Charles pop up when it comes to this. Is King Charles a, 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 an artist? Or are you talking about the King Charles? I'm talking about the <laughs> King Charles. <laughs> I have to ask, you know. Because I might assume you're talking about King Charles. And turns out this is another artist, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's come out of Jamaica called King Charles. <laughs> uh, that's the Jamaican coming out of you, boy. Yeah. All right, so Vib- Vibes Cartel's out. He's free, he's man. Free. Free. Free uh, to the world. And this, uh, we're all very excited about this, right? Yeah. Okay. You are? Well, I don't see the difference, really, for me. You yeah. Know, just play music, did it? Yeah. it all, all it means is you can just produce more music. But then he's, but you say but he's, been, he's been releasing music anyway. Yeah, but, he, but his illness, like... First of all, he's got to get his health back, man. Mm. First and foremost. Well, know? he got ill in jail. What know. jail was he in? No, I'm not that. Jamaica? Yeah. Okay. He's in a Jamaican jail for 13 years. Mm. I've never, obviously, I've never been in a Jamaican jail, but mm. I'm imagining it ain't like a UK jail. You reckon he had a tough time in jail? 
Or would you reckon he had it good because his vibes cartel? He could either have I always had it think good. About that. He could have either had it good because his vibes cartel, or he could have had it bad because his vibes cartel. Nah, I think he had it good, man. He could have, he could have had better. Like, imagine they're just nah, forcing nah, him nah, to nah, sing. Nah. Everybody, every, what? Imagine <laughs> they're forcing him to sing. <laughs> have you seen the video of R. Kelly I doing a full yeah, on yeah, performance yeah, in, jail? in jail? Imagine that. Yeah, big man, sing, sing, sing. You know, oh, he's trying today. to bust his case right now as well. Ah, it's no. R. Kelly, you're not allowed out. You know, you know, you know, R. Kelly, do you know what he's trying to say? No. That his crimes are too old. He was before the. Uh, no. Disgusting. Protect. So there was, a, there, was a, there was a law that came in in mm. 2000 and. Don't quote me. I think it was two thousand and one or two, called Protect, which meant, which meant that basically his crimes, anything before that, your crimes are basically layaway. Like they're they're too old. It's disgusting, man. But I don't feel like I feel like sex crimes. Huh? Wait, I'm trying to think. What am I even? That angry? What did he do again? Did he just trap a girl? Oh no, it's the young girls as well. No, yeah, no, but remember you piss on the girl. I don't care dating. about him piss. I don't care if he pissed on a girl. The underage girl. Oh, she's underage. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah, she yeah. was underage. But ju- the, the pissing part isn't the problem for me there. It's the underage. Yeah, of course. And, yeah. and the entrapment, though, and the kidnap and all that. Like, wouldn't let them go and all that mm. bullshit there. You man, fucking ten types are crazy, man. You mm. stay there, man. Mm. Mm. You can't get played on my playlist again. Okay. That's so deep, you know. Right. And, it's p- and I'm pissed because he's got some good... He's, as an artist, if you want to talk about R. Kelly as an artist, yeah. psh, if he didn't do none of this fuckery, yeah. psh, do you understand where I'm coming from? Like, he's in playlists. But now I have to just eradicate you. Eradicate. Yeah, but yeah, delete. You, 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 yeah, yeah. Have you eradicated Michael Jackson? Wh- why? Yeah, but this is the argument, man. It is. Uh, the only reason evidence? I say it because I, I was listening to a. Um, but where's the evidence for Michael Jackson? What do you mean? Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? What do you mean? I just need to know. What do you need to see? Where the evidence is. What do you need? Because he didn't get convicted, did he? Yeah, what do you need to see though? Well, all them, Bill Cosby, all them got convicted, didn't it? How come? He's dead though. If Michael Jackson was alive today, he'd be in jail. Well, is it, you reckon he's that bad? If Michael Jackson was alive today, you reckon he, he's he, that he bad? Would've, he would got swept under with all of them. Oh, no, have you seen the two newsreaders that, that, that just got done for some kid thing as well? Yeah. The BBC newsreaders. <laughs> it's like no one's. That's what I'm saying though. It's like everybody's like. <laughs> but do you know what I think it is though? Yeah, you know when I like watch like. You know when I watch film like seasons like Game of Thrones or anything that's set back in the day, mm. there's all this like incestry and young people they're always admiring young. You alright? No, I'm caught, man. Okay. Under this big old light, it's <laughs> burning me up, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but whenever I watch these things, yeah, like Victorian times, anything, you always see like that. There's no boundary for age. Mm. That they don't even wed two families like my 11 year old daughter to your 30 year old king yeah mad mad, mad so that mad. so there was a time in our in our history when it weren't a big deal yeah now i feel like go back to the 70s and 80s yeah before social media and all this uh, i feel like it was th- there's still something going on there that we're not <laughs> like that's not been addressed like they're still doing it why is there so much people why are so much powerful people pedophiles I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. And are they only? Is it only changing now because it's like now you, you think, get blasted for it? Do you think it's the power it? that gets to their head? It must be. Because I I was watching yeah, I was watching this season called um, Dirty Pop, which is basically about NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys or something, mm. and how like what whatever happened to them back in the day, yeah. But when you deep it, they're, they're like men. And they're they're selling sex to the primary audience, uh, girls, like young girls in school, mm. like and they know that that the 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 number one who they're reaching out to is these girls, and all their songs are about that frosting and sex and rare tear tear. Yeah, but but then then they're groupies, the girls that get to come backstage and tour with them, they're always gonna be of that. Yeah, but think about how much dusty tune there is out there now. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying like, do you think their own? Do you think it's like? With, with all these people are getting caught now, but is that just because social media burns people now? Whereas before there was no social yeah, yeah. media. Yeah, well, I feel like I feel like like I literally, if you don't I catch me like in an act, it didn't happen. But I now, feel like the media, I feel like the power. This is what I'm saying to you. Remember when a couple of episodes ago, I told you about Jay Z. Yeah. 
Mm. Like he's just in the shadows right now. He don't want nothing to come out. He's just trying to stay in the shadows. Because I believe, yeah, that there's a lot of crud on a lot of people that were powerful mm. or was in places because but they didn't see how powerful the internet was going to be now. Yeah. How social media, how technology was going to take over, how, mm. how the media doesn't control the world no more. Yeah. Your phone controls the world. We do. Look, influencers are getting paid millions. Look at Mr. Beast mm. and the people there. They're getting paid more than footballers and... Do you understand where I'm coming from? Mm. That if, you, if you took that back and say a normal person in his bedroom would just start something mm. and be a millionaire, he'd be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. They didn't, they didn't realise this. And then now it gives weak people strength or weak people power. Because they think that they, you, you can't... When you say them. weak people, you mean Like victim, Diddy, look at Diddy, victims. for instance. Yeah, like, look at Diddy, for instance. Yeah. Do you understand me? But how is that video of Diddy kicking that Cassie only because it's coming out now? Because money. Somebody got paid. Yeah, the people that work, the security people in charge of the cameras got paid. Where are they? Why aren't exactly, we holding them accountable? Yeah. Why aren't you getting dragged exactly. up out of his retirement exactly. and saying, what happened to no that? No one don't want to talk about them, bro. Hmm? No one don't want to talk about them. They're innocent, innit? Yeah. But to be honest, I don't know if it was this podcast or somewhere else. I remember somebody saying, like, let's say you was rich and famous. It was us, man. Back and in the day. And you was talking about the chef. I don't know. If the chef saw some shit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a chef. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, landed yeah. the job with yeah, Leo. Yeah, yeah. Not, Leo's not, a millionaire. Uh, <laughs> you pay me 250 a month. <laughs> I'm not spoiling the bag. Yeah, am I spoiling my bag just to hot you up? And then you're in jail. And then who's paying me? Why? Before I get into another deep one, yeah, on. here's another conundrum for you. Mm. I think it's called a conundrum. I just forgot what it's spelled for. I do that a lot. All right, cool. Eggs. Mm. Do you put them in your fridge or in your cupboard? They're out on the side. You and don't li- put them in your no, fridge? No, they literally stay on, on, on the counter. Because in your fridge, you've got the egg holders. When I used to live here at Mum's, it was, yeah. we kept them in the fridge. Since I've moved out, I don't keep them in the fridge. Do you keep your eggs in the fridge or in the cupboard? Because when you go to the supermarket, you yep. buy them off the shelf. Off the shelf, yeah. That's what I was going to say. So why do we put eggs in the fridge? I kind of take a general rule now to whatever it, it however it's stored at the supermarket is how I'll store it at home. Eddie, how do you store your eggs, Eddie? Mm. I need to know. Do you know it's, how, a, do you know it's a mad one, though, isn't it? Because yeah. if you go, we store our eggs in the fridge. Because you must like them cold. How can we like them cold if you don't have to cook them, Diddy? I don't know. Why you put them in the fridge? <laughs> this is mad. This is when this the egg is when a chicken lays the egg and it sits there for a bit. It's not in the fridge. This is another this under is another warm. reason why they sit on it to keep it warm. I don't want no chick chicken in my egg, though. But that's where it was. Oh, that was my that's my conundrum. Do you keep your eggs in the fr- and I know there's enough people out there like, raw. I put my eggs in the fridge. But you bought them off the shelf in the supermarket. And I have to check if the egg's off. It can't float in it or something. Or it sinks. One of yeah, yeah. Or you could spin it on a countertop. And if it stands up. I think I made that one up. I'm sure that's correct, though. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Is that one of those, another one of your TikToks? Saying it with my chest. No, I've, yeah, I don't did know you, if did I... Did you see the TikTok um, reel that I sent you about cleaning? The cleaning hacks. So, no, so, so you like your sandwich. You see, like when you make a sandwich in the sandwich maker. Yeah. You can put ice. If you put ice in the sandwich maker mm. and let it melt, sh- wipe it one time. The gone. What's gone? Your mess in your sandwich cleaner. What mess is in the sandwich? You know, like if you make a cheese toasty. So, like the cheese. Yeah. Uh, they threw ice in there, closed it down. Yeah. Waited for the ice to... You keep sending me lots of stuff like this. This is what I said to you last week. No, it's just You're something to talk about. Oh, let's talk about it then. Well, I thought... I just, but you know what? It actually had me... I was actually... There was one with a fork where you Yeah, could I saw that one. And you can make strips. The only thing that I thought that was good out of that was the, what they did to the... Um, yeah. To the... What's the vegetable? Spring onion. Yeah, made it into little strips. Mm. Yeah, see... I was yeah. like, Whoa. I liked that one. But they've got time on their hands, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, what do you do? Sit there and just bring me. Well, to people like you. No. Yeah. There's something to think <laughs> I about. said no. <laughs> <laughs> Costa or Starbucks? Costa or Starbucks? 
Come. Costa or Starbucks, people? I'm walking down the sh- high street. There's one on the left and one on the right. Are you going into Costa? Or are you going into Starbucks? For a coffee. For a Makes co- a difference. For a coffee? Just a coffee. Well, they are coffee shops. Yeah, I know, but if I wanted... I'm gonna if I was going to get a sandwich, button. if I was going to get a sandwich, I'd go into Starbucks. Yeah, I'd go into Starbucks. Always Starbucks. Both times. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Coffee or coffee? I always pick Starbucks over. What's that one you said? Costa. 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 Costa's the blue one, isn't it? The maroon one. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I go into Starbucks. The blue one's Nero. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one's Costa? Burgundy. The Burgundy thing. Yeah, I do go Costa, actually. <coughs> I don't think I care. <laughs> I don't think I care, to be honest with you. I don't. I, I avoid that blue one, Nero. No, it's boring. Where do you go? Costa. I got I got another topic mm-hmm. that I wanted to bring up. Yeah, I come prepared. I even wrote them on my phone today, but my phone's over there. Oh. So, I had the details on my phone. Cause, you know, I don't like to. You know, I don't ever like to come on here without my facts. Okay. I like to do my You're research. You're gonna say something with chest. Where do you get the research from? <laughs> I done my research on this, but I can't use my phone. But so I don't know the names. But I wanted to talk about the Olympic boxing, the woman. You got too much testosterone. She punched up the Italy. She's she's a man, isn't it? Italy. Transgender. She's not a man. She's transgender. Not, she's not transgender. What is she then? She's a woman with some abnormal. I um, heard it was a transgender. What? So it's a man. That's what I thought. That's How the did she get through the uh, 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 process? Right. So because I see the Nigerian I woman bring up, bring up. I see the Nigerian woman get kicked off the hundred meters because she didn't meet the criteria. Or so hold on, then. I thought I'd come on here with facts. Maybe I s- I've just skipped past that part. The w- it's not. I thought it was a transgender. No. So it was born a man. She's a woman. And now it's a woman. But she produces testosterone like a man. So she's a she's a man trapped in a woman's body, man. What's that? No. Pause. Rewind. Get me on board. I don't know what's going on. I don't know myself. Is she a woman? Tra- born w- a woman. I was, I was just was trying born. to sound. Yeah, but was she born a That's man how or I a woman? That's how think about it. Was the was she was b- born a woman. So she's not, but she's never she's had a ab- penis. But she's got an abnormal, an abnormal thing where her cells make testosterone. Or everything that we we, we make. So she's on steroids then? She, but, but naturally. That's not a thing. What do you mean? How? No. I don't know this myself. This don't make sense. But, 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 but people can be born with three leg and two eye and... I thought it was a transgender. I thought the whole point was she was breasts. a transgender fighting in... Is a man is now a woman fighting in the females category of the Olympic boxing. No, I thought that's what she it was. was. A, she's a woman, but she's a man, and she's thumping up the women. Did you hear but then the that's I- fair. Then did you hear what the Italian woman said? I've never been put box like this before in my life. But you know what though, that changes my whole perspective. Then if she was always been a woman, and she just produces more testosterone naturally, if she is natural, it was another c word. As then well, she so. should be able to punch up every woman that she can, and we should praise her for it. I thought it was a transgender, which is why I thought... Should I Google it? Just Google it, just in case, because I've got two different opinions depending on... What if if she's a woman and she's just better than the rest, then good for her. No. But if it's a man Box. who's now a woman, then that's a Libby. The Algerian boxer was born a female, was registered female, lived her life as a female, boxed as a female, has a female passport... She a female. She have a female. This is not boom a boom. transgender case. That's on the BBC. All right. Well then, okay. So let's th- let me talk about this, and then we'll talk about what if. If now knowing that she was born a female, everything, mm. she deserves to punch up at all of the girls in the Olympics and take the gold. And that girl who cried and pulled out after one punch, you're in the wrong sport. That's what I'm gonna say to that then. Yeah. yeah? That's how I feel. I like. don't really have. You can't take it away from her. I d- yeah, I don't really have too much to say on this. I feel like people are too hit up on this transgender, transgender thing. Yeah. Like if you're female and you just are you just lucky to have a, I yeah, don't yeah, know, yeah. an advantage. Yeah. Then it's like it's like if somebody's tall and can play basketball. Yeah. Like yeah. what should Shaq not play basketball because he's seven foot fucking yeah, ten? Hundred yeah. percent. Do you know what I mean? Bro, I can't, that's changed everything for me. Yeah, I feel bad for her now. I felt bad for the Italian girl that was crying. Now I feel bad for the woman that's even being spoken about, other than yeah. she's strong. Yeah. yeah, man, she deserves to be. But 
what's your opinion on transgenders then being in they better be in their own sport in, in their, their own, own league in a transgender league so if i'm a if i'm a man doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman if you're a transgender yeah have your own league Oh, your own league, like only transgenders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if there's not enough people in there? That's your business. You can't listen. You know that. You know as well. You know. You know, women get pissed off mm. with. Uh, I don't know which way around it is. Is it men being females? Why is it that women get pissed off again when they take away their femininity, their female? Self? If a man was to. Uh, Enter a female Sutton, yeah, and win. I think the women. Yeah, I think the, yeah, they, 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 they takes away their Didn't female that identity. Didn't somebody get like Woman of the Year who was a transgender <laughs> or something like that? Somebody that was. I'm sure that was a thing. How? But that's a thing that but that would piss them off. Yeah, but how? Yeah, you can get transgender of the year, mm. but how can you get Woman of the Year? You can't have your cake, eat it, and have cherry on top. So you can't. I'm sorry you can't. And this is not an anti-transgender thing. This is a, you want your cake eat and cherry on top. Would you date a transgender? No. I'm still not anti-transgender. But no. <laughs> <laughs> so would you date a transgender? Nah. Huh? No. Nah. It's no different, man. It's what if Tay wanted to be a transgender? That's his business. You just support him. My father. Okay. If Tay come I'm home in a dress no, tomorrow, I'm, I'm, you I'm, would say something. Let's be real. I'd ask him what he's doing, mm. but what can I do? How would you say it? What are you doing? I'm wearing a dress. This is how I feel. That's how you feel? Mm. Are you feel okay? I feel fine. In fact, this is the yeah, best no I've ever then. felt. I'm going to get my breast done. That's your business. Are you paying for it, yeah? No, I was going to ask you for my <laughs> birthday. Can I get my breast done for my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I, told you, I support you from far. <laughs> so yeah, so you you're anti any cross gender in sports. Yeah, in sports. But live your life. Transgenders live your life. You know, I've actually got to this. Ma- I feel like I've got to a mature level where people just live your life, man. Whatever you whatever you want to do, whatever you want to be. Mm. I just don't like the ones that cry about it or over exaggerate it. I just don't like that. It just it, I think that's just an irritation of mine. Mm. You know, like when you said someone can be too gay. Don't clip this. <laughs> 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 no, but you know what I mean. Like you're setting me up for one of your clips. No, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I remember when you said that. When <laughs> 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 First of all, my condolences to the families that lost their children. This brother that stabbed up the youths in the place in Southport. <laughs> Is this the cab? No, 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 no. This is another one. The seventeen-year-old black youth that stabbed up. I saw. The f- is it I a five-year-old and a nine-year-old? And is that what he killed? Yes. I didn't see it. I, s- I saw a picture of. It was in like someone. you know one of them play scheme places mm. for summer holidays. Where one of those camps. Where you should feel safe for the summer holidays. He's gone in there and done a madness, and didn't you see all these riots that's happening in South? See if you was part of the riots when you went to the immigration hotel and mashed up the immigration hotel how do you feel right now knowing that it wasn't an immigrant it was actually somebody that was born in wales how do you feel right now because two wrongs don't make a right and i saw a lot of you burning down police vans vandalizing and mashing up the place trying to fight the police why you're fighting the police i don't understand they need the youth why are you fighting them for? But the racism in England was shown on the streets of Southport. And you, one of you's watching this now, go look in the mirror and say to yourself, wow, am I really that guy? Because mm. you got it wrong. And two wrongs don't make a right. What are you teaching our young? To go and run out on the road and vandalise up the place for what? With, with misinformation. And you wonder why they use them running around with machetes if they got parents like you. I ain't seen it. You're the role models for them. You lot that was in the South 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 Port streets. You lot, man. Come on, man. We gotta do better than that. 
you got to do better than that. It's mad. And when I looked at it, and then, and then I, I heard it, they just got it totally wrong, Bailey. I'm like, how? They thought it was a Muslim person. Like, why? Why do they just jump to these conclusions? But even if it was a Muslim person... doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, a sick, deranged that's individual that, for me... Yeah. What is the, 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 the biggest thing in this? For me, the you should get the death penalty. That ain't a thing no more, though. I know, but if, if it was, he should get the death penalty. He should. Do you think the death penalty is worse than life? I don't know, but if that was my five-year-old child that was in that thing, there, that's I think I've, I think I was just spouting off of emotion. Because you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, five-year-old child. If you you're, if if somebody done this to your child, yeah, and you got to decide their fate. I'm dead. Huh? I'm dead. You're dead. I'm dead. What do you mean? If they done that to my five-year-old child. Okay, yeah, but don't, I don't want you to think that deeply. But I'm saying, say you've got the power to choose what happens to this person, yeah. Yeah. Would you want them to get the death penalty next week? Or what? Can I choose what happens? Yeah, there? yeah. You don't want to know. That's they I can do. I want to go know. to the dark place yeah. rather than kill you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I like want to do some. I would want to do some heinous, sick, sore shit to you, mm-hmm. but keep you alive. That's, that's what I want to. So when you look in the mirror every yeah. day, you know you fucked up. Yeah. Mm. Keep you alive. That's it. And you know what? I don't. I don't say that. So I'm talking about my child here, yeah. like so. I can't. That's me. I wasn't gonna kill them. Death yeah. penalty is too easy. That's what I'm thinking. They don't want yeah, the death it's penalty. Too, it's too it's quick. Too yeah, but it wasn't my child. Yeah. I'm too. I'm looking at this in the reality. That mm. if they, if the death penalty was here, he deserved the death penalty. Mm. There is no excuse. I don't care. <laughs> There's no excuse. That five year old child has done nothing to you. Do you understand me? Mm. Like. Innocent. Been on the earth five years. Yeah. That's actually crazy. Like, what? Wh- so what happened? You know, we were talking about, remember we were talking about the youths and how and, and how sick they must be to be able to stab somebody. Yeah. Where, where is he? That's what I'm saying. In, 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 where, got tapped. Tapped. No, it's more, it's, we've got, this has got to be a different word than tapped. That's got to be mental health. It's got to be more than mental health and tapped, though. That's got, and you know what's scary then? See what I'm saying? I must, I'm saying that must be mental health. I bet he, he'll, Worm his way through to some Worm sort what? of, some no, sort no, of no, mental no, no, health. No. You know, he's, you know, he can't come out. Mm. That's it. That's it. that's him done. He might just go to special hospital. Sad though, you know. Mm. So sad. Do you know what it is? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not actually. I don't, I don't. How do you see all of this stuff? But brother, what cave are you in? Do you watch TV? But what cave are you in? Do you watch news? It's, it's on social media. It's on the news. It don't come up. Only thing it's on the radio. Only thing that I don't listen to radio. I don't watch the news. You haven't seen the riots that's been happening? No. Do you know the only thing my phone shows me? The fuck is racist people running down the road? Yeah. I didn't see it. They're all out now. All those ones, all them warriors, they're all out. When they watch this show, they're going to be all out. You're going to see them. You, see them. You're gonna see you know them what's mad? Up. When they go to work Monday and then they see themselves on social media... <laughs> When they get and nicked on Monday, they're praying that yeah. their managers don't see it. And they're gonna get nicked on Monday. And the fact of the matter is, you got it wrong. And why jump to race anyway? So because they minded. did. Because in England, I won't speak about the world, but England, are, are, there's like a, it's just dormant racism. It's just waiting to yeah, be released. Yeah, yeah. So the second that a Muslim or a black person yeah. or whatever the racism is towards does something. They like they let the anger out. Yeah. That's when they let it all come out. What's wrong with Uber drivers? Go on. Nah, nah, Uber drivers, but hey, hey, if you're an Uber driver, is there a special school that you go to to drive? You know, I got in an Uber the other day here for my work here. Yeah? Mm. This is the first time I got in an Uber and the Uber was winging. I said, "Big man, what happened? What fast? Yeah, none of that. You know, you know, the normally the Ubers do this and stop and stop because they're looking at their map thing, innit? And and, and it, it's like it's sh- I don't know what's going on with their map thing. Maybe they need a new Uber map map thing. Cause they just keep stop start, stop start, or they drive real slow and still miss the turn off. I think you just had a bad Uber. I've never been in. I've never experienced this. I used Uber for like a whole year. Have you what? Remember before? Have what? you never followed an Uber before? In I've, your been car in, I've been in. I've been in bed. Frustrated. Ubers. Well, one time I was in an Uber and the Uber got pulled over and nicked. Right. 
<laughs> See, and you're telling me you have never had a bad experience <laughs> in an Uber. And your Uber man got nicked. The Uber, he got nicked. He was in a about? stolen car. You was what? He was in a stolen car. True story. Your Uber was Ubering. I, I called wait, it wait, Uber. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Your Uber yeah. was Ubering in a stolen, in a stolen car. car. Yeah. I called it Uber. He picked me up. I, I was on my way to Shoreditch. I got pulled over, like, close to Shoreditch by un- undercover police. They took him out of the car. <laughs> I was sitting in the back. They got me out of the car. And then he got arrested and put him in the back of their car. And they said, yeah, this is a stolen vehicle. And I had to show them that I was only in it because I'd called an Uber. I had to call another Uber. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, you know. Yeah. These people on them, them, them scooters, mm. you know, they, they, like, the scooters have upgraded now. Like, they got big wheels. I want and, one. And, and long boards. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Because I've been asking my female friends, if a man pulled up on the scooter, Mm. And that was his transport. He's like, jar, jump on, let's go. Yeah. Date, you can't get dating. on that. Of course, I've seen two people. You can't do two people up on you a scooter. You can't do two people on one. Nah. I'm to- I don't think you've seen the right scooter. No, nah, no, nah, but... Uh, I'm talking about the ones that's, that, that... You can't pull up and ask a girl to jump on the scooter in a date, 100%. So I, I don't going to hold nothing against the girl for chatting shit about that. But if if it was just... If, you're, if the guy you're dating rolls around on a scooter... Is that a problem? I would have said you can't say that's you gotta let him do his thing. All right, girl, them, I need to know if your man. First of all, if your man pulled up first date, pulled up on a scooter, are you getting the ick? Yes. S- secondly, if your man owns a scooter and rides it on a daily basis, is that cool? Right. That yeah. That's that's good. Yeah. I think it's calm for a guy to have a scooter, but you need yeah, to. But know, I don't mind because. But I'm you a, need to. You I'm can't a bike pull up. Life guy. You can't pull up on a date on that scooter. You have to leave the scooter at home for that date. But some of them and I, get a cab. But brother, I see some of them out there. They, 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 it's like they want a Ducati. I see a man yesterday, the other day when we when we was coming Fast. back. The man, no, we didn't pull up at the lights. The man jumped off, looking at his, looking at his, <laughs> doing something. I don't know what he was doing. Like it was a. His motorbike. I see one brother. That he always, I always see him on Brixton Hill. Dustin, his scooter's bigger, faster than everyone's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got lights on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that. If I had that, I'd use that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate driving to Brixton and back every day. I'm just sitting. I was in trying traffic. to defend the man then with the scooters. Yeah, but, but you can't pull up. You can't pull up on the was The Gellum, That's why I was laughing because the Gellum's reaction was like, huh? No, what? you can't. The same way your a guy could, his his daily transport could be a bike, a pedal bike. Yeah, that could be his, his, he rides to work and back. Cool, he doesn't have a well, car. You better have an Uber app. But you better not pull up to your date on the bike. Talking about jump on the handlebars or something like that. It's, it don't work. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But then let, let's ask another question though. Yeah, man, them if you're waiting for your date, let's say you're not picking her up, you're just linking her at the spot, and she pulls up on a scooter. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about man, them. What if the girl pulls up on a scooter? <laughs> Because uh, Kyra the other day was talking to me about she wants to sell her car and get a new car. What about she? Oh. I was like, I, I, she wants to sell her car and get a new car. Yeah. And in my head, I was thinking, you do the same journey as me every day. I said, why don't you just sell your car and get a scooter? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm being real, I could not I could not look at my girl on a scooter. On a scooter. I can't. What about, if she, what about if a girl walked up on skates? Because I see that skates. That's kind of cute, though. Skates are, skates are back in now, you yeah, know. Skate, and it's good to cute. see the youngsters as long skating. as you don't smell, that's that's cool. Huh? As long as you don't smell. Why is she gonna smell? Because everything we've spoken about till now is energy. It's movement. It's doing its own thing. Okay. Skating, you're you're. <laughs> she might just, you know, like she don't know, but you know, like we're on a date, love. Where yeah. are you even leaving? Have your you skate? ever done a skating date? What? Have you ever gone to like a roller skate party? Like skating. I've, gone, I've been to bare roller skate parties. I wouldn't. I don't think I've ever been on a date. Well, you've never been roller skating or you've never been on a roller skating I've never been to a roller skating party or a roller skating day. Oh, that's sad, man. They're about, I've done you ice know. skating. You want to go to one? My brethren go there all the time. I'm not trying to shit. <laughs> I'm saying they go all the time. Pause. What? What's pause? I feel like... My brethren go all the time. No, no. What? Do I want to go on one? Do you want to go to one? What? 
a roller date. skate. No, I don't want to go. It's not a date. That's what I'm saying. No, I, I don't think it's a dating thing. You're, you've watched ATL <laughs> with Ti. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your only nah, nah, saw, reference uh, to. Nah, I saw Usher skating once though. Is it doing some moves and I see some girl the other day on the you would drop in a heartbeat. That's why you use why you want me to go so you can no, film but it. I'm just, I'm you just only want you only I'm want you only want, you want me to go roller you? skating so you could vlog it. A hundred percent. If you go roller skating, one hundred percent you're gonna drop hard. You'll probably injure yourself. You'll probably fall awkwardly. Are you people, right? People wonder how did you even do that? <laughs> how did you end up like that? You're like one of them evil teenagers. <laughs> yeah, you can't go skating, man. Have you ever taken a balloon with her? Oh, I've been on a roller skating day. I'm lying. Me and Kyra went two summers ago. And you forgot? Well, I, we, didn't Kyra, go, we didn't go to a roller skating place. I'm sorry place. for him. We went to the park. We went park. We didn't go to a roller skating place, though. But we both got skates and we went roller skating through. Uh, what's the park? That Ooh, Madison. No. Burgess. Uh, Burgess Park. Mm. It was good. Good day. What's your take on balloons? bad it's bad because yeah when it first take one. yeah when it first this is what i'm saying when it first you come out a balloon? yes let me land let me let me get out yeah. hold on can i just be shocked for a second i'm going to be shocked when i used to go out what's it like four or five years ago back in my day balloons were like in and we used to do balloons every time it was going out but it's not like the way they do it now. Like we'll do one double balloon is a big deal, yeah. So one single, the little canister. Are you trying to justify? This? No, I'm telling. I'm. I can talk from experience, innit? I'm not justifying it. I'm saying Go when on. we used to do balloons, there was no stories. There was no horror stories about this has happened to that person. This has happened to that person. This was a new thing. Yeah, when we was doing it at a party, a, a one b double balloon was like a big deal. The way that the youths now, they're going out and doing it the whole night, or even just with the canister, straight from the canister. And we, when we stopped doing it, we was only doing this for like a couple summers. And no one that I know, no one that I used to do it with would do it now. Like, but the youths today, they've taken it too far, and people are getting like they're losing their like. I swear they're getting brain damage and shit. Do you know what it does? It shuts. It blocks off the oxygen to your brain. <laughs> Right? Was that nothing for me? Yeah, but bro, I'm telling you, like when we used to do it, this was new. You know what I'm saying? It was what there was no, there w no one knew about all of this stuff. There weren't no fucking. This happened to that person, or this happened to that person. But now you've seen it. Like I'm thinking, you lot haven't you seen it? Like don't do it. But is that they're not? But not only are they still doing it, they're doing it ten times worse than we was doing it. That's what I'm Imagine saying. Imagine those canister people have gone clear. Man. Mm. These but they're, they're doing it straight out of the, 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 the buy can. The canister, the can it, yeah, the ice cream, whatever it is, that cool gas whip. stuff. They buy it by the box load. Mm. You know who used to do it heavy? EXO was like the plug for it. I guarantee, and I've never seen him all speak about or talk about it today. Like he would never do it now. But we, Max, we all used to do it. But I remember, you I remember seeing, playing, I remember seeing us. Roulette, I think we, yeah, a hundred percent. I think we dodged a bullet and didn't even know it. Was playing roulette, man. Mad people, balloons, done it, man. Stop it, stop the balloons. Just smoke weed. Yeah. <laughs> Just smoke and weed. If you're gonna smoke weed, smoke high grade. Just smoke weed if you're gonna do even anything. This new bro. wave of weed, I don't even know what's in it, what chemicals. Are yeah, in weed, I, do you know what I get scared about that as well. You know when um, I said I watched a show on the BBC about the vape pens mm -hmm. and the vape pens is like now you got youths making their own weed ones but they're putting spice in it because it's cheaper and then they're selling mm -hmm. it on TikTok. That made me think the people that are selling weed, so much people sell weed. You don't know where the source is coming from but it could just be some dinghead in his fucking basement doing whatever, putting yeah. anything in it to I make it better. I knew when I knew that weed was gone so different is when I started to hear cultivators talk about speeding up the process mm. of grows. Mm. So back in the day when everybody was doing the tents and the grows and the small grows and then, but then they wanted it, they wanted to yield quicker. Mm. So they would turn 
a three month period into six weeks. And I'm like, what, what are you putting? What, what is, what is it someone's going to be smoking then? Mm. What chemicals are you putting to make that yield six weeks? Mm. That's a mad thing. Yeah. And you actually look at the science of it. Because remember, people just smell weed and whatever, whatever. Mm. I'm so glad I don't smell weed. Yeah, but you need to chill out on them vape pens. All right, man. No, seriously, I think the weight. I think vape pens way worse than weed. Come way on. worse. But I don't think you're gonna know about the problems of that for another ten, fifteen years. And you're gonna be like, "Raw, remember in 2020 when we used to just smoke vapes, and now everyone that's smoking vapes is just, I don't know, your lungs have tripled in size or something." Just walking around. Are with you really putting that in the Just atmosphere? walking around with a chest like this. Are you putting that in the atmosphere? Everyone <laughs> in 15 <laughs> years, all of you like walking around like Vaping this. Vaping ain't no good as well, you. And you know, the other day, yeah, I was driving past the school and I see a brother with his little vape. Uh, and I'm looking at him like. What? Walking around with what? He was standing outside with like a little vape stool. Is and it? I'm looking and I'm like. How much are they? Scumbag. Oh. What are you thinking? How much are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wonder if he does the one I Freaking like. Freaking scumbag. Yeah. What's in the vape pen? Nicotine. And what? What makes it taste like blueberry? I don't know. Exactly. Flavoring. Exactly. Yeah. So with your pen? I don't know. There's no difference. Mm. It's a flavoured battery at the end of the day. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. That's what's worse. That's the bad thing about vapes is, yeah, is it's making... It bridges the gap between a non-smoker and, well, a smoker, isn't it? Well, I haven't smoked, so. I yeah, but even, it, that's the I thing. I just stop vaping. But it is. But it, the what my thing about vapes is like Kevin. What? Kevin's never smoked in his life. But he vapes. And you know how he started vaping? You. Oh, go on. I don't know. I was just trying to. Me. No, I, I was guessing. Go on. He started vaping because he had a cold or and, and they wait, it was Jimmy Lan. He was bunged I'm up. I'm looking at Kevin. Oh. And he and he tried one of those menthol vapes. Mm. You know, one to clear mm. to clear his airways and it cleared it. Or his cold was coming to the end and it was gonna clear anyway. Well, that, that's what he said it was. And then he carried on vaping oh. after it. And I was like, because when I saw him vaping, I'm like, Kevin, you vaping? Mm. You never smoked in your life. Kevin, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that. You're actually an idiot. <laughs> and I said he, he had a cold, so that he had a vape, and then his cold went, so he carried on vaping. Oh, Kevin, you're Kevin's a loyal supporter as well. You know? yeah. Kevin, big up yourself, man. Yeah, you're an idiot, Kevin. Oh, vaping is... Vaping. I think vaping right. is worse than smoking. Somehow, and I don't think we're going to know until X amount of years... And then we're going to be like, raw. It's a bit like the vaccine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, no, yeah. what's the in the vaccine? vaccine? I don't know, but I'll take it anyway. Did you take, did you take nope. it? <laughs> nope. Did you take the vaccine? My auntie the other day, my oh, auntie and uncle oh. said to me, my auntie, I looked at my auntie the other day, and her skin, her pigment of her skin was gone here, 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 here. She's had bare patches. I was like, what happened? What's that? She's like, oh, from the, when I took the vaccine, the second one. So I just stopped after that. What? But it was so casual. I didn't want to react because I was like, oh, okay. In my head, I was thinking, what the fuck? Yeah, that's mad. And, that, and, so, and, I, and I remember, I'm sure I remember people saying, like, once you take the first vaccine, you got to take the next one. Then you had to take the next one after because, like... Yeah, but why? What is all these... Because, obviously, the, whatever you're taking is not was, for you and then you they're trying to correct it. Was, I had a beat COVID. I'm not put, why am I going to put something foreign in? Mm. To beat something that's foreign in me anyway. Mm. Just let it, just let it, let my body beat it. Let my my own immune system deal with it. No, mm. my immune system is like ten ten. My immune system's crazy. Huh? I've got a good immune system. Listen. My white blood cells. You ain't got a good hairline though. Oh, there is. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Are you sitting there with your fucking bald head talking to me about my hairline. You really... You would really you would swap really hairlines really with me in no, an instant. Never. Leo? What? 
if with a that if V-ting, a magic with that V-ting yeah, that's halfway down extra your hair. hair you're worried about extra hair extra your your extra hair that you got cut off you've got you ain't, I got a V this way and you've got a fucking C that way so what are you talking about well, we're, fuck, we're both fucked then. if a, if a magic genie fuck. come down and said do you want Bailey's hairline and he'll have yours but you'll have his no. you would take that in an instance and no. you would be sitting here next week's episode with fucking all product in your hair you probably go and get a pattern done. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come in here with a crazy trim. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you dare. <laughs> yeah. My hairline is calm, right? I've seen people age 22 and f- between 20 and 25 even with terrible hairlines. And I'm sitting here 35, no great well. I've got one or two greys. I've got one or two greys. But the curls are curling and the fade is fading. It's like a waterfall going on over here. When I sit in my barber's chair, I just said, what do you want? What do you want today? Because you've got options. If you sit in the barber's chair, he's not even going to ask you what you want. He knows. It's a quick thing. You know what I mean? He might not even charge you. So people, what do you think about the idea of us doing the live show? Are you down? Are you going to turn up? Would you buy a ticket? How much do you think a ticket would be? Mm. That's a question, isn't it? Mm. Good to ask the people. And How you know what we do? What? We will make it ticket prices, yeah? But we'll, it will be free to anyone that's joined the Patreon subscription. Oh, no, no, no. Just, we just chopped off a bit of bread there, innit? We've got studio equipment to pay for. Let things to get new new stands. Well, we definitely got to. Uh, I did uh, contact the company today. We definitely got to throw out some merch off the stage then when we do the thing. Yeah. I know we'll give away some free. My m- I I, I want to bring out a. a, a um, oh. Let me not say it. Actually. Ain't that some Patreon talk there? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, give us your thoughts. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Live show. Mm. Mm. We there. Yeah. Well, you know what? End of the show? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, because you know it does great things for the channel. I've been your boy, Bailey. I've been Leo. Peace.